during Mike Jones' rookie season, he started off the season as a 6'9 forward for the Atlanta Hawks. But just like in college, Mike would have another tremendous growth spurt. He would end the season signing with the San Antonio Spurs as a 7-foot center. And this situation could have not worked any better for Mike Jones because Mike was able to learn the position. There was no pressure on him. They already had stars. And he was able to be under the tutelage of Greg Popovich as well as learn from one of the best big men to ever do it and Tim Duncan. He was able to learn the position quickly and his team, the San Antonio Spurs, had a phenomenal run in 2013-2014, blazing through the regular season, blazing through the playoffs, going to the finals, and can you believe it, folks? They actually won the championship. So during Mike Jones' rookie season, he was crowned champion. And even though Kawhi Leonard won the MVP of the finals, Kawhi Leonard said, and I quote, we could have not done what we done if it wasn't for Mike Jones. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes with winning it all. And Clark, you have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And what better way, Kevin, to give back to the loyal fans of this franchise than to finish out this series, this whole playoff run, actually. What a night. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks. All Mike was on top of the world. His team just won the world championship. Kawhi Leonard, the finals MVP, said, you know what, young fella? We can split this trophy, but it's going to keep it at my house. He took pictures with it, and he had a decision to make. He was a free agent at the end of the season because he only signed a one-year deal. The Spurs asked him to take less money, but he decided to blast it all day on Twitter. Mike said in a tweet, and I quote, agent just told me the Spurs want me to sign for less money because it's best for the team. Child, please. Any other teams interested? Hashtag champs. That didn't really go over well with the coaching staff. Mike was called into the coach's office the very next day. So with this social media scandal thing going, you've alienated your teammates, the fans, and management. That wasn't my intention. But that's what happened. That's why I keep an extra cell at home just for conversations I want to keep to myself. And that bad boy never leaves the house. An extra cell? Just keep your intentions to yourself. We're all disposable in this league. All I really care about is your mindset. How you feeling? I feel good. I'm still focused on what matters. That's this team, my job. You know what I'm saying? Good, but words are one thing, actions are another. You're going to have to bust your butt over the next few weeks to earn the respect and trust of your teammates again. Can you do that? Absolutely, man. Those are my boys. Good. Time to prove it. Now get out of here. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Thanks for working out with me. A year ago, it would have never happened. Fuck you, me. Why you say that? You serious? You the king of attitude. Ain't that a bitch? Hey, your attitude won't so great yourself. Maybe. I'm just glad our rookie season is behind us. Yeah, man, there's only so much garbage you can take from the vest, you know? Yeah, but now you got a big decision coming up. Where are you going to play? Where are you going to take the next step? Who knows, maybe we can team up in the future. Be a dynamic duo for sure. The future's wide open for both of us. Peace, bro. Nah, 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 man. I'm saying it's only a matter of time for my name is in the conversation. We talking about MVP player. Hey, hey, you know, hold up. Hey, man, I got to holler at you later. My agent over here tripping. I'll talk to you later. Peace. I think you might be getting a little ahead of yourself with that MVP talk. Man, what you talking about? What, I ain't good enough now? No, no. I'm just saying we need to do some digging, figure out where your game fits best. Now, take a look at this list. Tell me what teams top your list, and I'll start making calls. Now look, you've done some good work, but you haven't exactly set the league on fire this year. Man, if you're trying to say something, spit it out. All I'm saying is that we might have to accept an offer from a team farther down the list. A team more suited to your game, alright? I don't care how you spin it, as long as you spin it. I just want to ball and get paid. I need sharks. Sharks? Yeah, that's what we both want. After considering all the offers, play for the Timberwolves. Done and done, my man. Good choice. And this is just the beginning. You keep improving, the next time you come up for free agency, we're moving to another stratosphere. I'm talking Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and beyond, Broheim. Me and you, all right?
Now I'll get moving on that paperwork so we can ink this deal as quick as possible. Cool? Cool, man. Hurry up and get that done. The quicker I sign, the quicker I get paid. I got the GM on speed dial. I'll make the call for my car. Ciao. Hey, thanks for coming by. No problem, Coach. Listen, I just wanted to let you know how excited I am with you joining our team. I've seen what you can do on the court, and I knew with you signing on with us, we would be capable of some big things. You were one of the key reasons that I decided to come on board. Wow, that means a lot to me. I'm looking forward to working with you and bringing the championship to this city. Well, just keep developing your game. I think we'll have a pretty good shot at it. Now I'll see you down on the court. It's all good, Coach. I appreciate it. Let's start with you, Doc. What led you to take a head coaching position here? Well, it seemed like a great opportunity to come in and move the, the organization forward. I like to look at a roster and the way it, I see it, this team has a chance to be good for a very long time. Doc, you've got one of the more impressive players in the league sitting next to you right there. Uh, did his signing have anything to do with your decision to come on board? Well, I'm certainly excited uh, what we can do together, but he's just one piece of the puzzle. I think the team as a whole has a lot of potential, and I'm really looking forward to starting the season. I'd like to get a player's perspective on my first question to Doc. What led you to sign on here? Oh, I really felt like this was the best place for me to continue and develop my game. Um, I love the fans here. I love the city. I just think it's a great place to play basketball. And how did you feel when you learned Doc would be joining the team? Oh, man, that was just icing on the cake to me. I've been a fan of Coach Rivers for a very long time now, and I know if anybody can come in here and bring a championship to this team, it's Coach Rivers. Uh, I think Coach and I are really going to make a really great team. I'm ready to get started. Right, Coach? Well, I hope so. <laughs> but now it's time to get to work. We've got a long season ahead of us. Hey, thanks, everyone. Peace, guys. Hand in. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I am Mr. HD3. Very next video on my channel will be uploaded tomorrow. That is Sunday. It will be a Taj Jordan uh, NFL Road to Glory slash NFL career. Next Mike Jones video will come out on Monday. Ha <laughs> ha! Peace.